Hello, David Bowie. Hello. Your name in Sweden, we have difficulties pronouncing your name. You pronounced it correctly. I did, Bowie, yeah. yeah. But how, how do they do it in Japan? Uh, Bowie. <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> they have, they have correctly. No, yes, they have And no in problem. France? Yes, uh, Bowie. Bowie? Yeah. Some people in Sweden even yeah. call you Bowie. Bowie. Yeah, oh, is that's that okay? Possible, yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, I think you go gone beyond limits in many respects. And I believe that when you do that, after a while, you tend to long for the small and simple things in life. Yes, I think so. Is yes. that the same with you? I think that's uh, the position that I'm in at the moment. I want mm -hmm. to do something which is uh, a lot simpler than anything I've done before in terms of music and uh, musical performance. Mm -hmm. You said earlier that the career of a rock star uh, doesn't appeal to you very much because no. uh, you don't like the endless touring and the false smiles. How do you feel right now? Um, in terms of touring? Well, right now, why are you sitting here and I'm smiling at you? Uh, I think it's uh, very hard to talk seriously about one's work in, in uh, such a, a fabricated situation. Mm -hmm. I think you can only talk on a very general basis. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, what I always find is that one starts giving answers that sound like repetition of the interview I did a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. which is very frustrating. Yeah. You think, well, I'd like to produce a novel angle. But you think if I do that, then I'm not telling what I believe is the truth. Mm -hmm. And so just end up saying the same thing yeah. with less and less conviction as yeah. the day goes on. <laughs> I, see, I see one of your pupils is much bigger than the yes, other one. Yes, yes. How come? Yes, I had an accident, a fight, when I was uh, in my teens. Yeah. And about I was in hospital. About a girl, of course. About a girl, of Naturally. course, yeah. <laughs> This last year you've been making two movies. One you said was very sexy and bloody, and the other one was longer and more intellectual. Yeah. What do you prefer? For personal enjoyment, I, I, I like the film that I made with the Japanese uh, director, Oshima, very much. Which the film's is called Merry the, Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. The intellectual one. I guess so. How do you look upon yourself as the 26-year-old David Bowie? But him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, alarmingly curious about life. I think. Yeah. I'm less curious now, more cautious mm -hmm. about what I felt was uh, right and wrong and different and correct mm -hmm. and whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably more healthily confused <laughs> than I ever used to be. Sounds nice. <laughs> And the people who adore that uh, 26-year-old, what, what do you think about them? Um, who think of him as a cult figure? Then they, uh, I, I guess they, they must stay with those albums. Uh, mm. uh, fortunately, a lot of the uh, people that um, have been um, buying my records or listening to my music or seeing my shows have uh, been very free to follow what I've been doing and have come along with me mm. in whatever I'm doing, mm. which has been... Very gratifying. Mm -hmm. I, I think there is a quotation from Baudelaire, I'm not quite sure, which says, uh, nothing human is strange to me. Mm -hmm. Does that go for you? I, I, I would agree that the human condition is a myriad of the most perplexing mm -hmm. uh, situations, yeah. Nothing surprises you, Doesn't Margaret Thatcher no, or children pornography? Nothing surprises me. No. Nothing surprises me. Uh -huh. uh, but it's... Uh, I don't think that it makes me complacent about things, but it, it seems that uh, man is capable of great heights and great depths. Mm -hmm. What's most important for you right now in life? Um, my immediate uh, family, my immediate environment, I think. Mm -hmm. Making sure that I can uh, have some purpose in writing music and uh, performing, or anything that I do, in fact. Mm -hmm. That it must have a substantial reason, otherwise uh, I wouldn't be doing it. Mm -hmm. So, I know, I know you have a son. Yes. What, what do you do with him? Well, he comes with me an awful lot. Uh, and uh, I believe that we share each other's lives as fully as we can. And it's very exciting watching him grow. And probably has made me grow as well. And you're a good father? I hope so. 